I'd seen this bird at our bird feeder in Ontario, and of course cardinals are spectacular birds and everybody loves cardinals. Um, but uh, often the males in particular are crepuscular. That means they come out at dusk. Uh, maybe it's because they're so bright and they don't want to be easily seen in case there's a predator, I don't know. But it's a moment in time. And a minute later, or even a few seconds later, a few seconds earlier, it would not be the same scene. It's that sense of time and transitory. So at any rate, this cardinal was sitting on our feeder and it was very cold and he was all fluffed up. As you know, you get better insulation from your feathers if you fluff them all up. And was showing a bunch of wear, feathers wear and tear. It's something I've recently discovered. Feathers wear down and birds have different plumages depending on where they are in the, since they molted last. They actually look quite different. And there's some real sharp birders who can tell you practically what month this bird was photographed in. Uh, so you can see some gray coming through there. Well, I decided, as is my want, to um, backlight it and put it mostly in shadow. And I hid it quite a bit uh, because he wants to be hidden. He's, uh, he's resting up at the end of the day, maybe going to go to sleep somewhere, probably not on the ground. And much of this I recreated. And I wanted the center of the picture to be nothing, nothing special. Obviously, the red in the upper right-hand corner of the bramble I put there on purpose to draw your eye away from the cardinal and give competition and create tension. And um, when Milpon Press saw the painting, they thought it was weird. They said, we've seen a lot of cardinal art. We've never seen one like that before. It looks way too fat. It's got all that gray in it. It's, it's strange. And I don't actually know whether we should publish it or not. It might be heavily criticized. And so the president of Millpond and his family knew Roger Torrey Peterson, who's Mr. Birdman of North America, maybe the world. He invented the field guide. So they sent the son of the president up to Connecticut to visit uh, Roger Torrey Peterson. And he, he opened the package with this picture in it and put it in front of Roger and said, what do you think? And he looked at it for a long time and he said, it's discouragingly good. <laughs> I mean, when I heard that, I, I almost got tears in my eyes uh, to come. He was my hero from the age of 12. He said, I thought the Cardinal had been done. I, he said, he's painted the Cardinal dozens and dozens of times. And so have all of his colleagues and peers. Um, Singer has painted them and Don Eckleberry has painted them. And every, everybody, all the artists that he knew had painted cardinals until they're coming out their ears. And he thought there wasn't no use doing any more cardinals. And along comes this young whippersnapper from Canada and he does this cardinal that nobody's ever done before. Now I've done a whole bunch of cardinals since, but this is kind of my, the landmark cardinal.